goes to a general election. Well, then they better just get used to the idea that they're going to face losing all of their seats. Yeah, because remember the poll on Monday, which suggested that the Tories would lose by would lose 200 seats. Labour would have a majority of 120, mm. uh, and Reform UK are a major factor in all of that. Um, we're going to be talking to Leader Reform in a moment. Uh, and um, uh, talking of which, he's here. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Look, there's a whole load of noise about this vote this evening. I'm with you, Andrew. I think that all of this noise and hot air, actually, it's like. The troops being marched up to the top of the hill, and then they'll all bottle it when it comes to it. All those 60 who voted for the amendment last night, how many of those will actually vote against this evening? I suspect it'll be less than double figures. It'll be just a handful. Yeah. And it'll be very interesting to see people like Lee Anderson, Brendan Clark Smith. I mean, Lee said, uh, and he's, you know, he's, a, he's a man of principle, he said that he finds it hard to vote for something he doesn't believe in. Will he vote for it tonight, or will he actually abstain? Uh, I mean, in a sense, he should vote against it, but I don't think they will, because the last thing they want yeah. to do is trigger an early general election, yeah. because they know they're going to get, quite rightly, uh, ousted. Well, I read about this in the mail today, one of the, the things the Whips were saying, if you vote against it, mate, there's a general election very soon, they'd rather have another nine months of their of getting paid. Uh, uh, nine yeah, but, but the thing about all of this is the whole thing is a complete dead cat red herring. Because even if it does all go through, then the reality is it's not a deterrent. We know mm. it's not a deterrent because only a few hundred would go there. And already this year, in freezing cold weather, hundreds of illegal migrants have made that dangerous trip. Tragically, five people have already lost their lives this year. It proves in horrific tragedy, it's not a deterrent. They should just give it up. This whole thing, this will only stop when someone who's leading this country has the courage and the guts and the spine to say, we're picking up and we're taking back to France. That is the only thing that will stop it. Who are you suggesting? Who do you think it might be you? Well, I'll tell you what, no one else at the moment mm -hmm. is saying this. We're entitled to do it under international treaties. I've read them, I know the clauses, but the, the, the leaders of the, of the Tories and the Labour Party, they're utterly spineless on this. It you know would, it works because it worked in Australia. It would very much sour the champagne in Davos this week, that kind of thing. Oh, talk. I, I know, I know, I know. I turned down an leaders. invitation, you'll be pleased to know. Quite right. <laughs> Quite right. Now, um, stay with us, because we're going to talk now to Richard Graham, who's the Tory MP for Gloucester. Now, he's part of the, um, oh, there's so many groups. Which lot are you, Richard? Remind us. Um, you're the, <laughs> you're the, one, the, nation, you're the one nation Conservatives, as opposed to the right-wing Tories. So, your position I'm a, today... I'm a your... Conservative MP, full stop. OK, fine. We're all Conservative but... MPs. Don't try and divide us. OK, but we've got, today, we've got... You're doing a pretty um, good job of that yourself. We've got the former, uh, the former okay. Lord Chancellor, uh, Robert, um... Buckland. Buckland, thank Buckland. you very much. He's tabling an amendment today, which are you, which are you, are you going to support that? No, no, I'm supporting the government full stop, and that's right. what all Conservative MPs should be doing. We need to get this bill through so that we can get some people back to Rwanda, the deterrent in place, and move on. What about, sorry, what about Richard Tice's point? It isn't going to work. It's only going to be a few hundred people at best. Mm -hmm. there, will, there will be, all, it will be bedeviled by appeals from human rights lawyers, and the government is not willing to stop that happening. They had a chance. They yeah. could have accepted the amendment yesterday, mm -hmm. and they didn't. So, I mean, Richard Tice is in the same position as the Labour Party. They both say it won't work. And let's prove them wrong. Richard, our, our Home and Security Editor, Mark White, has been down to Calais and he's interviewed people waiting there to jump on these boats. And apparently the idea of Rwanda being a deterrent is a source of great comedy to people who are down there waiting to get across here for all sorts of reasons. They believe that they can just use an excuse when they arrive here to not get on that aeroplane, be it um, whatever. Their mental health, their mental well-being is one of the reasons they could cite. They get a letter from the GP to say this person isn't fit to fly, they're going to be so distressed they'll take their own life, etc. It, the bar is so low on the appeals process yeah. that even the asylum seekers themselves, the refugees, the economic migrants, whatever you want to call them, they think it's a joke. Do you have any evidence that it will be a deterrent? Well, look at the Migration Watch report. That is crucial. They made it very clear that they thought this would be a powerful deterrent. And frankly, if it wasn't going to be a deterrent, then what's all the fuss about? Because from Labour's point of view, if everybody comes here and they'll all be able to get through with legal help, their various you know, 
largely made up excuses, uh, then they wouldn't be worried about this at all. So I think that, frankly, there's a lot of wild speculation from people with political agendas of their own, whether it's Labour, Reform or anybody else. This will have a considerable impact. We should get on and do it. Every Conservative MP wants to see it happen, so let's do it. And by the way, it will happen. I'm confident of that. I, I think I agree with it. But what about Richard Tice's point, Richard, that um, it's quite simple. If they were in power, if 